I remember from a very early age that my mother took me to all the museums back in Madrid. It made an influence in the way that I saw the world and also as an expression. I used to study a lot, so drawing and painting was a form of expression for me to not to have to talk as much. I'm Rafael Blanco, I'm a public artist, originally from Spain, and currently I live in Chicago, and I'm interested in site-specific art. I saw this call for artists from the city of San Mateo with the title Racial Justice Project. Once I became a finalist, they asked for a design, and that's when you really start thinking about the visual idea. I usually have to come up with 10 different ideas and then toss those ideas and then another 10. And, but for this one, the first idea that I had was the strongest. To pull different symbols, patterns from different cultures and make a design that is mixing with each other in a way in order to create unity. So the whole idea is to celebrate our differences and to realize how similar we are. We had many different interactions between the city and the community on how to make the design better. So there are 10 cultures represented in total between the two streets. Some of the cultures may be clear and may be recognizable right away to some people, but other cultures may not. That was done on purpose. We wanted to have an all-inclusive design instead of a literal design. If something is a little bit more ambiguous, then there is room for interpretation, room for imagination. Because I wanted all backgrounds, all types of people to come and feel represented in their own way. The whole point of the designs being intertwined with each other, because it's about mixed race too. We live in a country where people are getting more mixed than before. And, and I think that is a beautiful thing. So we should also celebrate that, that join of so many differences. This is the first project that I have worked with a team. When the city asked me, how long do you want to do this mural? And I said, well, how long do you want the mural to be? The city said everything, the two entire blocks. And I thought, well, if I do it by myself, it's going to take me a long time. Uh, so maybe I can recruit a team for it. So my first idea was to recruit my colleague, Victor. Uh, we went to school together. We went to St. Mary's College and he's an amazing artist. So I called him, I told him about the project and he was on board. After that, I recruited my sister from Spain. And then the last recruit was my father-in-law who heard me about the project and he asked me if he could be part of the project. And I said, we can always use a hand. And so the four of us, we've been working on getting all the designs together. Working with Raphael on this project has been delightful and a little bit grueling, I should say, in a good way. He's given us as a team a lot of latitude as far as input of how to approach certain problems that have come up or challenges, I should say. When you work with people, you, you, you really have to collaborate even more. You have to work with each other with different tastes on music and on spaces. But it's been truly a very positive experience. Since the first day that we started to work, you were able to hear different languages. And as soon as I heard that, I was inspired saying, yes, we are doing this in the right place. This this mural really belongs here. People have been approaching us in many different ways, asking, intrigued, confused, what's going on with the street? What are you doing to our streets? And for me, those interactions are as important as the artwork itself. Some people come in every day and checking, oh, today you are doing this, today you are doing that, and they are becoming part of the project. I truly believe public art is a public service. So when I'm doing this, I'm always remembering I'm doing this as a public service. I'm doing this for everyone that is watching, for everyone that is going to come by. So for me, even though it takes me time, I, 
out of painting, it is important for me to remember it is essential to take my time, to talk to people, explain what's going on, because I think that will make a difference. What I always tend to say is they will always remember uh, when they saw us doing that part of the mural, a year from now, when they pass through that, they will have a personal connection because they were there while it was being made. And I think that's another beautiful thing about public art. You actually see it in progress and seeing that magic happens is truly a unique moment.